Another way of understanding what is knowledge-based AI is to contrast it with the other schools of thought in AI. We can think in terms of a spectrum. On one end of the spectrum is acting. The other end of the spectrum is thinking. As an example, when you're driving a car, you're acting on the world. But when you are planning what route to take, you're thinking about the world. Here is a second dimension for distinguishing between different schools of thought of AI. At one end of the spectrum, we can think of AI agents that are optimal. At the other end of the spectrum, we can think of AI agents that act and think like humans. Humans are multifunctional. They have very robust intelligence. Their intelligence need not be optimal relative to any one task, but it's very general purpose. It works for a very large number of tasks. Whereas we can think of AI agents on the other side, which are optimal for a given task. Given these two axes, we get four quadrants. Starting from the top left and going counterclockwise, here are agents that think optimally, agents that act optimally, agents that act like humans, and agents that think like humans. In this particular course, in knowledge-based AI, we're interested in agents that think like humans. Let us take a few examples to make sure that we understand these four quadrants well. Here are some well-known computational techniques. Consider many machine learning algorithms. These algorithms analyze large amounts of data and determine patterns of regularity in that data. Well, I might think of them as being in the top left quadrant. They're certainly doing thinking, and they often are optimal, but they're not necessarily human-like. Airplane autopilots, they would go under acting optimally. They're certainly acting in the world, and you want them to act optimally. Improvisational robots that can perhaps dance to the music that you play, they're acting, and they're behaving like humans, dancing to some music. Semantic web, a new generation of web technologies in which the web understands the various pages and information on it. I might put that under thinking like humans. They're thinking, not acting in the world, and it's much more like humans than, let's say, some of the other computational techniques here. If you're interested in reading some more about these projects, you can check out the course materials where we've provided some recent papers on these different computational techniques. There's a lot of cutting edge research going on here at Georgia Tech and elsewhere on these different technologies. And if you really are interested in this, this is something where we're always looking for contributors.